comes from the soil. A certain amount of the rain that falls to earth returns to the seas and the oceans. The other part is retained by the soil. By means of the powerful absorbency of soil, the rainwater that falls begins to descend to the lower levels. The water stops when it reaches an impermeable layer, and the level of water there starts to accumulate under the effect of subsequent rainfall. Eventually, the saturation point is reached and the accumulated water looks for a way to leave that stratum. By means of its high pressure, the water emerges upward from the weakest point in the structure of the soil and eventually reaches the surface. This high pressure is the reason why artesian wells separate water as they do. God reveals in one verse of the Quran how rainwater enters the soil and gives rise to underground sources. Do you not see that God sends down water from the sky and threads it through the earth to emerge as springs, and then by it brings forth crops of varying colors, which then wither, and you see them turning yellow, and then he makes them into broken stubble? There is a reminder in that for people of intelligence. How is it that pure water can emerge from muddy soil? The way that pure water emerges from soil, which contains many wastes and waste products, is clearly a manifestation of God's compassion for human beings. God has arranged particles, sand, clay, and gravel in soil so perfectly that their arrangement serves as a kind of filter for the water that enters the soil, removing particles and impurities from it. In other words, the soil cleans the water that enters it, rather than dirtying it. Since water sometimes descends to the deepest parts of the soil, its temperature rises, meaning that it dissolves various minerals as it passes through different layers and absorbs them. The result of that is thermal springs. It has been proved that various diseases that cannot be easily cured with drugs are improved by the use of thermal springs. These things are without doubt minerals in the soil created by God. Another point required reflection is how water emerges in the form of springs. The structure of soil and water allows water stored underground to rise upward, and people thus enjoy easy access to water that falls from the sky and disappears into the depths of the soil. This is certainly a great blessing. It is a difficult and laborious task to locate the water that accumulates underground and raise it up several meters. By means of the properties that God has created oil and water, water rises to the surface for us to use. If the different strata of the earth did not hold water, but instead let it pass through to even deeper layers, water would constantly head downward, and it would be physically impossible for it to rise up again. Had God created a structure like that, then none but God would be able to bring water back to the surface again. This is revealed in another verse. Say, what do you think? If one morning your water disappears into the earth, who will bring you running water?